That's what I was going to say. Whenever I hear that voice recording in progress, it always reminds me of my most intimate times with your mom. You have an audible recording, just so everybody in the room knows that we're recording. No, no, I actually have someone sitting there filming. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on uh, is that is that what's next? You can follow us on Instagram, yeah, Twitter, that's Juicy what comes next. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for the Patreon. <laughs> follow us for your Twitter account, subscribe, and hit the like button. I'm out of my mind right now. Uh, yeah, you are. And welcome back. Oh. Today we're doing a movie review, everybody. And we are doing a review. If you're wondering, since you clicked on the title here, you know what film we're reviewing. We're reviewing the new 2023. Uh, Hindi film, Animal. Uh, and you're usually like, aren't you usually doing this from your car? Yeah, we you normally know, really, there was... We <laughs> there was usually big, do. Uh, well, we could just say we're going to blame it on L.A. traffic. Uh, um, yeah, I, if, you, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know what happened because I did a little a little story on it, but what happened was L.A. traffic. It's where you, you drive because it's, 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 it's a little bit of a drive. It's over by the airport from where we are and you leave your house with a good 25, 30 minutes to spare and then you wind up driving for another 45 minutes beyond the time you needed to be there yeah so i i just made our showing yesterday uh right as it started i walked in and then uh rick would have been way late and so he went this morning and so we did way not see late. it we did not see it together yeah uh, so that's why you're getting a review yeah. later and not in the car but uh obviously Correct. we just saw the uh new 2023 animal uh directed and uh this is part written by sandeep reddy vanga who is the director of um, Arjit Singh and Kabir Singh, the, those uh, Telugu movies, starring Ranbir, Anil, uh, Kapoor, and, uh, and a, a whole bunch of others. Obviously, since this is new, we're going to start off with uh, non-spoilers, and then before we get into some spoils, we will tell you before we get into it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Rick, your initial thoughts of Animal. Long dramatic pause. <laughs> it's the old adage, Corbin. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> you don't have uh, anything nice to say. <laughs> uh, there you yeah. go. I, uh, it's going to be a short review from my side unless everybody wants to hear me rant. I, uh, I, I could almost tell after I watched it that you weren't, you weren't going to like it, uh, like easily. There's, uh, and I actually, I'm, 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 I, uh, I just didn't tell you because I was like, ah, it's we, we got to watch this one. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> so I wasn't going to tell you anything. <laughs> so thank you, thank you for saying sorry because I said to Indrani when I got home, I said, I don't know why he made me see that movie. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, well, it's an anticipated one. So I was like, yeah, he, he's got to see it. Sorry. It's a big, uh, I know. Yeah, I know. Uh, he's got to see it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not going to say I don't have anything nice to say, but it's a, it's a big disappointment for me for sure. Um, especially with what I was anticipating and from Kabir Singh as well, uh, which, you know, you guys know we love Kabir Singh. Uh, we, we are, we were, uh, pounding the table for that movie when it came out. Um, and so I was very disappointed. Um, so I'll talk about uh, a couple of things that I did like, um, and then pro a lot of stuff I was, I was very disappointed with, um, ab about the movie. Um, but, uh, let's just, uh, start with the positives. Uh, Ren Beer's performance, I thought was a, a good performance, even though I think the way that they, they the, the story, for lack of a better term, uh, of the movie was, hard, <laughs> uh, kind of hard <laughs> hardly there for him um but i think he gave the role his all um and he definitely wasn't the reason i didn't like the movie um and so i i will give him that shout out um uh from that uh i loved bobby dole and i fucking hate that they criminally underused that character spoiler sorry um god damn i was so pissed off because i was like 
I, this is not he's he's in it so you know that right he he pops on screen i'm like oh yes i'm back in this is going to be great god damn it did they criminally underutilize him god damn it uh that's that 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 part of it there's a bunch of stuff that uh, that is more like uh, not as upsetting as that aspect for me is the fact that you have this goddamn great character that bobby dole is just fucking killing it and then you're just like, no, we're going to use anything else. <laughs> we're going to fill this time with random ass shit <laughs> and not Bobby Dole's character. Uh, so that that's what What do you think about Bobby Dole's character? <laughs> I agree with you in the fact that um, by the time he appeared on screen, the analogy I could give to it, it would be like somebody who already knew they were dead floating to the bottom of the ocean and they were just having their final moments of consciousness and a, a a really beautiful whale came swimming by and for that last moment you looked and you went yeah life is beautiful and then you died <laughs> stupid <laughs> it's it's a decent analogy though because he he was the he was the reminder for a good three minutes and 45 seconds of the first scene that he's in at his wedding he was he was a reminder of the fact that there actually is is uh, dude this this thing I was so mad and so disappointed and so screwed up in the head when this was over because it was so bad <laughs> that when I got home and Drani was rewatching some of the morning show and uh, what I will often do when I come back from a film I don't like is I will say I need to cleanse my palate I need to watch some good acting to really restore my hope in mankind. And I told her on the phone when I was driving home, I said, I don't need to cleanse my palate. I need a full body scrub. And I got in the room, 60 seconds of Billy Crudup. Um, I'm a dork. Here's how much I love this art form. 60 seconds of Billy Crudup after having just sat through what I did with Animal. I cried. <laughs> yeah, I, I, she, paused the TV, she paused the TV and I looked at her and I said, just 60 seconds of him, and I feel alive again. <laughs> I agree with you. I, 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 he was, if I have to accentuate something that had any goodness to it, it would be that scene with him. Yeah, yeah. Um, that character. Just, God, make an entire movie with that man and that character. That's what I want to see. Um, because the, the, the one of the biggest disappointments for me in this is that, one, what I was promised, incredibly violent, not actually that violent. I, I, I'm i sorry no. the, for those of you that actually think this film is incredibly violent. Go watch the film, Tamil it's film. Not. Go watch the Tamil film Rocky that has a fraction of the budget. And and I'll, I'll show you an actual violent film. Um, yeah. In, in the Indian cinema, I'm just, obviously, uh, um, obviously this is a big and commercial, but like that wasn't delivered for me i was actually kind of disappointed no. in in the interval because we had seen a lot of it already and so i was like okay so what else are you gonna give me i'm <laughs> if, if 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 this is the entire thing uh so that that aspect i was very disappointed with the fact that it just it was advertised as this incredibly inc it, sure there was some violence but i wouldn't classify this as oh this is insane violence what is it, it's not it's it's not really not uh, not at all uh, like i love violence in films this is not that violent of a film um i think it wanted to be i think it wanted to be edgy and that's one of the biggest downfalls of it it's like it, it, it did stuff that was like yeah oh this is gonna be cool and edgy but it wasn't like uh it was all like just it's so strange coming from the director of Kabir Singh, which I thought everything in that movie was so natural and so so organic. And the screenplay in Kabir Singh was great. It, it just everything kind of that was and I keep saying this. That was one of the, the, the biggest thing, I think, is the, the screenplay or lack thereof, especially in the second half um, of this thing um, that was just like, what are we what are we doing in this? Like, this is this is the whole that that's one thing I was worried about. But I was like, three hours and twenty three minutes. You got to be you got to be damn confident in like keeping me engaged, right? Yep. And it just like 
the first half I was like, okay, I, I, I got through this. And then the second half outside of Bobby Dole, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I don't even yeah. know what is going on anymore in this film. Like it went off the proverbial there's rails. No, it, yeah. There's no story. Yeah. It's uh, there's, just, there's just no story. There's a laughably bad kind of um, it felt like Michael Scott wrote it um, in the second half, kind of like a twist. Yeah. Uh, it, it, <laughs> It Absolutely. Was, uh, it felt like a Michael Scott. Film. It felt like Michael Scott wrote a film there, and he's there, like, this is a big I'm not twist. Su- I'm not surprised that studios looked at this and that one of the trailers I had, I don't know if you did, but one of the trailers I had before the movie was a Jason Statham movie. That's that's about the right audience. Yeah. Um, no, this is, this, I'll, you'll know what I mean when I say this. So you'll know what I'm about to say. I'd rather watch Boyhood. Oh, good, good lord! Uh, I don't know that I'd go that far. Um, but I would. I, it's better I, written. Boyhood is better written. Oh, that's a that's a statement. Um, but uh, yeah. So the, like the the at first because the other stuff the before we get to the spoilers and stuff like that. Yeah. Like in the beginning, there was one very. <laughs> clunky writing which was once again very strange from the guy that wrote kabir singh and uh, editing with, yeah very clunky like sometimes very the editing, clunky in the beginning at least worked for me in the non-linear style of editing i was like okay i can get behind this sometimes but then right. other times it was like so jarring and how they decided yep. to edit this together i was like what that like why would you do that that doesn't make this flow at all Right, Preach, like Corbin, like it's, yeah. it, it was very strange. The editing, some not all the like the not all the writing was clunky, but like especially with supporting characters, very clunky writing, an awful villain. Um, like well, I don't know if he would be the main villain, but they're one of the villains pre-interval, before the interval. Um, that I would have much rather you have Bobby Dole in that role because. God damn, that character's way more interesting to me, and he's a better actor. Uh, and the brother was interesting to me. Bobby Dole's brother was interesting to me, too, as well. Um, so I was like, why not make those people the main villains? But they used them for, like, four fucking minutes, and it pissed me off that my two favorite characters in this whole thing were used for, like, four minutes of the film. <laughs> yeah, and not only was the not only was the writing extraordinarily clunky, very thin in terms of story and plot, Yep. But every single character, except Bobby Dole's character, yeah. And 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 what I'm about to say isn't a credit to the writing; it's a credit to Bobby Dole. But every character was so hollow and one-dimensional. There was just no depth of humanity in any character. Yeah, it just felt like a the... one one note song the whole time for all it, of the characters. They were just. It, it felt like, once again, very strange coming from the guy that wrote Kabir Singh because that was such a beautiful film and so well put together. Um, but the fact that it felt like he just wanted to make a violent film and like, oh, this is this is a story that is. Fun. And I get there's yeah. cultural there's cultural differences of like how fathers and sons are in India. I get all that. We've seen it before. Um, but it just, it like the lack of like the storyline of this was just like, it, it felt almost non-existent outside of it a, it felt like, yeah. it, well, it felt like, and we can talk about this in the spoilers. What it really felt like was the idea for this was I'm going to make the most violent, bloody movie out there. I'm going to make this, this, just this crazy, crazy misogynistic guy who's just an ass and he's just going to be over the top. And then when we're filming, we're just, we're going to, we're going to do this because it looks cool. We're going to do this because it, like, we're going to have this badass thing and we're going to do this because everyone's going to talk about it. Nothing's story driven. Nothing's yeah. driven from a character's needs or their why, especially when you have trailers and this concept that we're anticipating based on the menu you gave to us, that we're going to see something profound with heavyweights like Ranbir Kapoor and Anil Kapoor. Yeah. With a father son thing, that would be a story for the ages about a father and son, and that just all got literally shot to shit. Yeah, um, you could you could tell like 
that the director had shots in mind. He's like, this is going to be a real cool shot. Uh, this is going to be a yep. rain. Sure, it is cool shot, but I can Same tell that, the that, writing. that I could tell that you wanted it to be a cool shot. And so then it comes off as right. contrived. Um, and so like, <laughs> it just, it Same maybe they were- What characters said, characters- Characters would say something, and you knew by the way the actor tried to deliver this absolutely empty, hollow, pointless, stupid line that it was intended to shock everybody that they're talking that way. It really was insulting and infuriating for me. Yeah. And once again, I know there's cultural yeah. stuff like about talking about sex and all that kind of stuff that they were trying to because I, I I was in a theater that was eh, half full uh, because it, I, I was still at a, an earlier showing um, and people giggled. And obviously, I'm the only white person in there and they giggled. Um, and so I get that there's difference in culture of like what's funny because it's taboo in your right. culture and blah, 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 blah. But um, like <laughs> I didn't even really understand why it was needed. The uh, the whole therapist scene and the first question she asked is about his sex life. And I'm like, why would that be the first question you ask? Like, I get it. You, I, I, well, I no, understand. that makes sense I, to I, me. I, when to, should, should we, should we get into spoilers? Should we get into spoilers now? Anyways, because, yeah, yeah. Um, we, uh, we didn't, we didn't yeah, love it that much. Getting, oh, I, yeah, I, I detested this. Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm going to be very honest. I, I agree. I agree with what uh, Anna Pama Chopra said in the end of her review of this movie. She I said haven't at the seen end it. Of this, this movie does a care. There's a character at the end of this movie who says that they feel like they want to throw up. I did too. <laughs> Is that what she said? Yeah. <laughs> oh my word. I haven't seen, I haven't seen a review. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys, uh, we'll get into some spoils and we'll talk about some more in depth stuff. Uh, yeah. If you see, if you love the movie and you think we're idiots, obviously you've probably already tuned out this, so that's fine. Um, but uh, let us know what you thought about it in the comments below. And, but we're going to get into the spoils now. So if you haven't seen it and don't want to be spoiled, please go watch a film and then come back. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what were you yeah, going to yeah. say, Rick? In the doctor, that doctor scene, I mean, yeah, of course, when somebody needs heart surgery, the first thing I'm going to ask of them, the first thing that comes to my mind that makes sense is I'm going to ask them how often they fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it a question that you need to ask as a doctor? Sure. But why it's not going to be your first question, like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, the uh, another, um, God, it was laughably bad when, um, uh, was it? Uh, Ren Beer and, and Tripti, it was Tripti, right? Uh, yeah, in in the scene when when uh the car explodes and then she's like, I've she's telling him everything, right, about about the whole setup, and he's like, ha, uh, well, you thought you double crossed me, I'm a double crossing double crosser. <laughs> I fucked Which you. I, I fucked you right. to get it out of you. And that felt like if you've ever seen like threat level midnight, the uh, uh amazing uh office episode, um, where Michael writes a writes a film, yeah, it felt it yeah. felt like it felt like something out of threat <laughs> level midnight. <laughs> it like it was like <laughs> for at first, I was like, okay, so now she feels bad and she's gonna, and that was silly enough. And then he's like, no, I knew the whole time. I fucked you a million times to uh, to get it. <laughs> and then he tried to reason that to his wife. And obviously he's not like supposed to be this good person or anything like that. We, we, we already know that. But like that whole thing, it wasn't supposed to be funny, but it was uh, comically that bad right. Yeah. And that whole scene where he tells her that he was having sex with the girl who you know, a little side note. Wasn't their relationship so believable? Yes. Um, that whole scene, when he says, to his I wife? slept with Zoya. Yeah. Yeah. When he says to her, I slept with Zoya, and she laughs, and she says, oh, you were sleeping? Oh, you were wrestling? Well, then just say that you had sex with her. That whole scene was really, really painful to watch. Mm. Um, I felt, I, I don't know how either one of them, but, but especially Rashmika, I, I genuinely don't know how you, I mean, just th there was nothing believable about it in the writing at all. Some of the things that he said were so cringy because they were just so obviously written for the point of shock value rather than sustaining justified conversation about a really important topic. 
And then there was no believability in why she would stay. There was no believability in why this man who we're told at the very beginning of the, of the film and in the trailers is so adoring of his father that when he cuts his hair, the minute his dad said, I liked you with long hair, he says, well, then I'll grow it back out, right? The, the son who would do anything to please his dad has multiple occasions where he has a disagreement with his dad and his attitude is, fuck you. I don't care what you think. What? Yeah. What? How did you go from the world revolves around my hero and I'll be anyone you want me to be if you just love me to, no, I'm not going to apologize for calling him a monkey. Fuck you. I think I think that what they were trying to convey is that if basically he can't have his father, nobody can. And so like it was it was one of those one of those kind of things. Um, I didn't get that at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, now I'm not going to defend the writing of this film at all because I didn't. Uh, whether it's storyline or lack thereof, or the the dialogue writing, it was all. Uh, why, considering how bad it is, why the heck is this thing nearly four hours long? Yeah, it, you could have chopped an easy hour off of this. An easy hour. You could have cut it in half. Yeah, yeah, and put the like what you didn't put Bobby Dole in. Put him in like three fourths of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, and give that's me you... give me some real human interactions of my goodness yeah it, I, I don't want to i don't it, um it, it felt like they wanted to make a violent film and a massy film and that everything else was secondary <laughs> to that which is something that which is something that they do in India. Obviously, ma massy films are 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 made, uh, and the uh, sole thing is to be do things that are entertaining, right? right? Uh, not not it's about just, story, not about um, no, uh, not about like acting, that. not about they, story, not about they, anything. They do stuff specifically that's only for entertainment value, and that's that's something that's very specific to Indian cinema and in, in, with their massy yes. stuff. And so it felt like they were like, yes. I want to make a violent massy film, and also forgot to put some of the violence in there because. I see. Here's another thing I was disappointed with the violence. Like in that whole interval scene, right? And there was a few moments where there was actually blood and stuff. They cut away a lot. I'm like, really? I thought this was supposed to be the this this violent thing. Why are we cutting away from the violence? Stop doing it didn't that. Even I I know seeing seeing all of the guys getting shot with that gun. I was expecting to see dismemberments. I wasn't expecting to just see everybody fly backward like a giant wind blew them away. Yeah, there was only a few moments that I was like, okay, that's genuinely violent and 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 fun and gory. Uh, there was like, I'd say, in a three and a half hour movie, five to ten of those, like just like that part is gory, not the yeah, entire scene. Yeah. That part is gory, like at the end, a spoiler, like when he's chopping her uh, the head or Bobby Dole's whole whole thing yeah, is but... incredibly violent, which was great. Uh, Bobby Bobby Dole's all of his scenes. Um, were um violent and and stuff like that or, or like when like he he double tapped on the guy he had already killed and then you see his brains on the on the on the thing i'm right. like that's a genuinely right. gory moment i like that but there right. was like Agreed. way too few and far between moments for me Agreed. maybe i just have a higher threshold Agreed. for violence than indian indians do no no i i think the difference is that you have a more a, a more discerning palette for lack of a better analogy in regard to violence that has an intentionality behind it to convey something about the brutality of the moment. It's not just gratuitous. There is something wonderful conveyance in a character after someone's dead, shooting them three times in the face with a shotgun and seeing some brain matter spray everywhere because that tells you something really visceral about the character and about what other people just witnessed. And I don't, you know, the, 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 the moment where he is, I, I was, I was waiting in that moment. I thought, okay, if you're going for what you've said is going to be this really brutally violent moment. And here's your fight scene, which had way too many sound effects that sounded weird for the kind of fight they were having. It lasted for two hours, apparently, which all people who've had heart surgeries can do that. Did you know that? You can fight <laughs> for two hours like that. And now you're, looking, way now you're looking for way too much logic. <laughs> but I was expecting, I was expecting us to see the whole nine yards 
a full rip off and either half decapitation or holding his bleeding head in his hand. Yeah. Um, something along those lines. And even the credit sequence with all the, okay, a lot of blood splash, big deal. Yeah. I was, uh, I was, I was hoping, man, like I said, Indian audiences are, I guess, aren't as accustomed to the violence. Um, but if you want to see an Indian film that is actually violent, go watch the Tamil film. If you can find it, Rocky, he's coming out with a new film, Captain Miller, which I have very high expectations. Yeah. For. Or even, or even the moments that are, that are, that are brutal, but they're so perfect in Jailer. Oh yeah. Jailer. Yeah. Jailer's a, got some really great moments. An hour and a half less of a movie as well um yes with with a really good good story it had the mass appeal but it also had some groundedness and it had some yeah. justifiable moments for all of the people who were really fleshed out characters and you don't expect that i was expecting that from something oh, that stars anil kapoor and ranbir kapoor yeah, yeah. and the maker yeah. of cutter thing yeah same man it's uh very sad. And, um, anyway, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> well, uh, let us know if you, if you like the film, if you didn't like the film, if you agreed with us, if you think we're idiots, as always, please let us know why. Uh, all of it helps the algorithm. So please, uh, put it down in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> true that's why I, like, <laughs> like when people it, it's so funny that they just don't understand youtube like youtube loves it if a bunch of people hate a video because that's that pushes hey, it out and that, means yes, they, that means you're still watching it. more talking they don't more people care are talking about it they don't care uh, uh but anyways uh very i'm very and also if you're still here um the vicky kershaw film it's not playing here and i'm very sad about that uh because i want to watch it <laughs> And so I guess we're yeah. gonna have to wait till OTT release uh, for for the new. Unless Vicky film. someone with the film can send us a screener, we would love that. You can unless trust it, us with it. Unless it's like Animal, then don't send it to us. <laughs> yeah, then don't send it. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you thought about the movie down below.